Hello, welcome to another episode of Mark Gutzler Man Gutzler's Bible Talk. It's been a very, very, very rough week for me um, in the sense that, you know, the temptations that surround us all, the temptations that I talked about in one of my earlier videos, um, has really been, really been taking effect. But I know that God is in control and there's nothing that God has given me that I can't handle. And uh, the more I pray, the more I do these videos, uh, the more, you know, I do go back and I do watch some of my videos. And I do go back and read some of the verses that I talk about in my videos. And therefore, um, I'm just filled with a lot of encouragement to continue going on and living life so um, I just wanted to welcome everybody before we get started today I just wanted to tell you that if you like these videos that I do please hit the like button and please don't forget to give that big old bell a big punch and um, that way you'll be notified whenever I do put up videos um, I'm gonna start trying to do more videos with my family and put that up like like you see um, earlier last year I started doing like uh, little mini movies and stuff so we can probably doing something like that so uh, I just want to get out and do a lot of stuff so in today's video um, well first let me start by explaining I I didn't plan it but first we did um, a video a few weeks ago about talking to the Lord and then last week on my video we did it on hearing God's Word once you once you talk and you pray um, you know how do we know that God is responding to us what are the signs that we're looking for in that uh, some of the signs just to recap are you know we 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 hear it in our daily message whenever we do Bible studies or uh, we hear it in audio like if we turn on the radio or listen to a song it might be you know in, in some of the lyrics that we listen to the what were the answer that we're looking for or uh, we just might overhear some friends talking and some of the stuff that they say might be something that we need to hear according to what we prayed for. And in today's video, we're going to be going over answered prayers. So what, is it, what does it look like? Like, okay, we prayed, we've heard God's answer, so what do we do with that? How do, you know, what do we do with that after we hear it? And I have a lot of Bible verses today. Way over five. I'll try to keep it at five, but I mean, it's just filled with, with, with stuff to do. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff really, really surprised me whenever I, whenever I read it. It kind of surprised me. So we're going to get started today. We're going to get started with verse uh, Matthew, verse 7, 11. And I like this verse. Because uh, Matthew verse 7, uh, excuse me, Matthew 7 verse 11, it's right here, it says, If you, then you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So that's just, it's powerful for me because we do for for birthdays and anniversaries and just you know graduations you know those are one of the top three reasons why we hold a celebration and that we give someone a gift for something you know and then some of us just you know i've received really precious gifts in the past that you know like i really wouldn't have asked for it someone to do that but they did they got me really good gifts and i'm just really amazed by it how much more amazing are the gifts that our Father will give us when we pray to Him and ask Him in our prayers for gifts? I mean, just think, the creator of the universe, the creator of the, the heavens and the earth, the creator of you and me, and He that knew every single hair on my head and your head before we were even born. So why is it really out there to... To, to think that he would give us good gifts if we ask for it. it to me, that's just 
that's just amazing. Everything about Yahweh is just amazing. Every single thing that I read, and just it's I'm just in awe. I might hear something twenty times, and even on the twenty first, I'm still like, I still can't believe it. Hearing the birds outside right now, with you know talking, giving their praise to God every day with the way they sound. I'm sure you can hear it. You know, I've, I've the last few videos I've just started with hearing the birds. It's just it's just amazing to me. Anyway, I, I, I'll continue on. But that little verse there, if you, even though you are evil, meaning that we do fall short of the glory of God, and without his son Jesus in our lives, we're still among the sinners, even though that's very unpopular to say, but it's the truth. Um, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him. That's just, to me, that's just amazing. To me, that's just amazing. So now, let's go to uh, 1 Peter 3.12. So as I go there, you can go there with your Bibles. All right, so 1 Peter 3, verse 12 reads, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are intentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And that's that's a verse right there. We can pull things out of it. The very the very first part of it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. So we're gonna go we're gonna go there. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. So he is, he is always looking and, and scouting out and seeing his people who have, you know, have his son Jesus, who has accepted Jesus, who is, who is living according to the word. And um, his eyes are always on the righteous, have pureness in their hearts, and his ears are always attentive to their prayers, which means that his ears are always listening to their prayers. The righteous prays, he listens, he hears their prayers. Um, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Ugh, that that kind of gives me the shudders. Like, I do not want to look upon the face of the Lord when he's angry at me. Like, I just didn't. Uh, no. <laughs> I always want to please the Lord. That that little uh, comment that I just made was, I, I always want to please the Lord. I always want to make the Lord happy. So, I do not want to see the Lord mad, especially at me. It, it That's just... Like I said, everything that I read is just unbelievable. I love it. Okay, now let's go to 1 John 5, verse 15. 1 John 5, verse 15. So this is a continuation of a verse that we went over in my last video. And I'll read that. 1 John 5, verse 14 was one of the verses we did last week. And that reads, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. The continuation today is, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. And that, in the, the verse that we read today, that's just breaking down that if we know that he hears us, Right, going from the verse right before that, which is verse 14, this is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will, according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what he asks of him, what we ask of him. So that's just another confirmation to me to read in that, that. If I ask a question according to his will, please make me stronger in my relationship with you. Please, please help me in these troubled times that I'm having with my um, temptations and desires. Because that's all part of his will. That he hears us and what, whatever I ask, I know that um, we know that we have what we ask of him. So 
knowing that the Lord will never give us any more than what we can handle, and knowing that the Lord will give us what we ask for. And a lot of times, it's in His timing, not ours. So when we, when we pray, and even if it is according to His will, we pray, we ask, please help me with this temptation. Uh, it may seem like we're not getting a response. We have to realize that the responses are in His time. There might be something that he wants us to, to see or something that he might want us to experience first before he answers us. Uh, and then he'll answer us, but he will, he will eventually answer us. It says so right here. But know that I already have it. So I started this video saying that it's been a very tough week for me because of the temptations that I talked about. In one of my last videos, you know, it's just summertime and I don't have to go into it right now, but it's just a temptation that we all go through. I know that if I ask for strength, if I ask for guidance through this, then I already have it. And I might as well start acting like I have it. I might as well start acting like he's already answered me. Instead of acting like, well, I'm just going to continue getting tempted and continue falling short of his glory until I hear an answer. Because my personal opinion is that's, that's not how I'm supposed to act according to this. We know that we have what we ask of him. Even if, even if I do not believe that I've heard an answer yet, I'm going to act as though he's already answered me. It, it's, just, it's just beautiful to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we already went through Matthew 7:11, But I, I do want to, I, I put a star by this one. I have my verses up here, so I can. Anyway, Second uh, Chronicles seven verse fourteen. So I'm going to go to that right now. Second Chronicles. So I'm going to go to Second Chronicles. Let me go to all the way down to that. Second Chronicles uh, seven verse fourteen. I, I'll give you time to get there yourself. Okay, so 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14 reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. I ran across this verse by doing some of my studies and I had to add it to this because it really, really ties into what we're studying today and the, the time, the current times that we're going through. And I know that this has been on social media. This verse has been on social media. And I've heard actually other people talk about it. But it's a verse to me that really, really, really stands out. And I'm going to read it one more time slowly. And what I like to do is when I read verses slowly, I like to just ponder in my mind each word as I read it. So... 2nd Chronicles 7 verse 14 if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven breaking that down to me that just reassures me that I am I am called in the name of Jesus by Jesus that I will humble myself and I will put myself before the king and I will kneel and every every knee will bow and every tongue will confess I will humble humble myself and I seek his face and I will turn from my wicked ways of, of lust and greed and coveting I, I will turn from all that then he will hear me from heaven he will hear my cries of help and my cries of plea from heaven and he will forgive me because it says and I will forgive their sin and he will forgive my sin and heal their land and heal the land that's just I don't need to really describe what that means I mean we all know what we're going through right now what we went through last year um, it's just 
you know, we need we need to turn from our wicked ways, and we need, and I, I say we because I am in this, knee deep in this, waist deep, chest deep. Heck, I'm, <laughs> my face is up like this because the water's like right here. Like, this is this is a, a struggle for me every day. So let's go to James five, verses fifteen and sixteen, and this is another one that I marked with the star. So I'm going to go with James 5. James 5. All right, James 5. James 5, verses 15 and 16. All right, so I'm going through 15 and 16, which is right here. And I'm going to read it. Okay. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Verse 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Powerful and effective are the two words I pull out of that. That means I pray for you, you pray for me, we pray for everyone. That kind of goes back to the Second Chronicles we just read, read about healing the land. We all pray for one another, and we all pray for our land. He will hear us. And that's all I've been doing is confessing my sins and praying for everybody. I, I pray for you. As a matter of fact, before I end this video, I would like to say a little prayer for everybody. So yeah, prayer, righteous person, is powerful and effective. So not only does he hear us, and not only will he answer us in his time, it is powerful and effective. Those are the words I like to hear, because that means that it's true. It has meaning, it has power. There has something behind it that it will happen. Wow, <laughs> to me that's just, that's just amazing. That's just amazing. So. Uh, I do hope, I really do hope that these Bible verses that I have been giving you today, last week, the week before, has really helped you in your journey of, you know, how do I pray, how do I know that God's hearing my voice, and what do I do once he answers me, you know, how do I act, where do I take it, what do I do, um, to sum everything up that we've been talking about the last couple of weeks would probably be, you know, it, how to pray is just to speak to God. Is just to pray like you're talking to a friend. You know, how, how do I know that I'm hearing his voice? Those are some of the things that we talked about earlier in this video. You can hear it from one of your other friends. They might say something that might be the answer to your prayer. You might turn on the radio and listen to a song and one of the, the lyrics might be something that you're, you know, and then when you, re, when you know that you're getting the answer, you'll know it. I don't believe that he's going to answer you in a way that you won't know if you're hearing him right or not. You'll know it. And then what do I do with that after I receive that? Well, I mean, this is just, this is just unbelievable. Like just, you know, just take that and, and go with it. Just take it and go with it. And I, and I really, I really have humbled myself since I've been doing these videos. And I've really come to an understanding that that possibly me doing these videos is to help me too as much as it is for you out there watching these videos or listening through audio this is much more and please take take this share with your friends share with people take what you learn from these videos and then share with others that's what I'm doing as I rewatch it I'm not only just making these videos, I'm actually re-watching them, and I'm, I'm trying to take, like from me watching myself point of view, if that makes sense, and then taking it out and then applying it to my everyday life and everyday activities. I would like to end this with a, with a small prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, Yahweh in heaven, today I stand before you humbled and in Jesus name I would like to pray for each and every person out there listening to my video watching my video hearing these words going over these verses I pray that these verses have 
meaning and strength that they're not just hearing my voice but they're hearing your voice and the message is not just me talking but coming through the Holy Spirit into their ears and planting that seed of light and holiness I pray this in this day before you in the name of Jesus through the Holy Spirit Amen well thank you for listening today I am Mark Gutzler uh, this is Gutzler Man Gutzler, and I would like to end this video with a little shout out to a friend of mine who has a podcast, and uh, his name is Odarian, and I will soon in the next few weeks be joining him on his podcast to go over one of the podcasts that he did about um, mentors of today. Where, where has the mentors gone of today? Um, it is very awesome. And I would just got, like to give a shout out. He's a very good friend of mine, a very strong Christian who has, I've listened to a few of his podcasts and has really, really enlightened my view on a lot of things. So um, thank you. And I would just like to give a shout out to him because I believe that he is a very godly man. He is here to spread the word just like we all are. And thank you for listening. And until next time, keep looking up.